this out. So that's done it, you know, a couple of you can do it this way. Working on both ends to the middle. This way. However you have to do it. We want that rounded. We don't want that really that to be that flat. We want it rocker to want it. Wing, a wing shape, a, an airfoil shape here, which is the goal. No hard edges. Propellers do not have square edges anywhere. They're all rounded, smooth, tapered in many directions. Okay. Getting close. We need to do a little more work on the on the trailing edge here. Get it more sharp. More of a knife edge. Again, it's fine if it's dense here at the base because that's going to be another a whole separate operation to get that to get that rounded up. Uh, but we want a consistent taper towards the tips of the blades. We want a consistent knife edge. We want a consistent hollow on the back and a consistent um, rocker on the face. So you see the difference here. Here's our blank. And here's about, we're probably at about 50% of shaping here, roughly 50% of the final outcome here. And that's just because, mostly because of all the filling and, and, um, and sealing and the sanding between each of those, each of those steps as I use the filler uh, to eliminate the grain and then lay a couple of coats of uh, sealer on that and then the primer and then the paint. Uh, there's, there's sanding between each phase of that except paint. And so there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of reduction yet. You know, we're, again, we're, we're just, uh, just beginning the process here. This takes a while. And it's one blade at a time. It's much more fun when it's a four blade or six blade prop, let me tell you. Uh, but that's not what we have here. Just multiply the fun. Right, let's get up under the tip. Looks like we're a little thick yet, especially on the back side here. We're concentrating more on the middle of the blade when I was doing this hollowing, so now we're going to focus a little more on the tip there. I'm not sure how much you can see on the GoPro. Uh, see now we're getting that hollowed out a little bit better up at the tip of the blade. We want to we want to thin this down a bit yet, keeping in mind that there's lots of sanding yet to do after this. I, I want to, you know have, even even after I start applying filler, there's going to be a lot of sanding to do. But uh, <clears throat> where we want to be here is, is right along the path of our ultimate, uh, of the ultimate shape we're going for. So we want to be clearly on, on the route in a, in a kind of an even way, an all around way. Get rid of these edges. Anytime you see a hard line in the light, you want to just take it off, remove it. So, back edge, front edge. All right. Leading edge of our propeller. Oops. 
trailing edge of our propeller, taper of our blade, hollow, the back face, rounding out of the front, front face of our prop. And back and forth we go, round and round. Knife edge, rounding, and profile, the tips, not too pointy, you want it rounded. Remember it's going to keep changing as we're sanding into each of these other surfaces. Okay, um, I think I'll call this good for now. We'll start doing the other one. Let's get it shaping. Get to shaping that one and then uh, we get them about equal here. Uh, we'll start in with the filler, the, you know, the putty and the, and the sealer and those steps. But I think, I think we're at a stopping point here with this one. And with that, I'll stop the camera. You don't need to see me do this twice. Probably didn't even need to see it once. But that's um, that's the process I use for for making propeller blades. Hardly any cutting, carving, or any of that at all. I'm I work mostly with sandpaper on these. We tend to get a, a decent result. Now there there will be a little bit of uh, blade carving here at the end to round this out. I might even be adding a a small length of material front and back to help me get to a round uh, a circumference that matches this diameter. If we look at this now, we can see the blade's a little flat. Uh, so even if I round it on the ends, it may not quite look right, you know, unless I come to the face and leave the back off. And I don't, I don't know that I want to do that. I could just add material on the back edge here. Um, but that might be, I think it's best if we center it and add a little bit of material on each side and then round to that. Well, if you follow me there, you see that. There's a little bit of overhang on the, on the hub side. The blade's a little skinny at the base. So we'll add 16th material or 32nd material, just up to about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little more, uh, three eighths. And then we'll, sh we'll round with that. We'll use that material to get to round to a circular uh, profile, cylindrical profile at the base of our blade. All right, so I'm gonna stop here. We'll come back when, uh, maybe when I'm into the polishing phase, we get them, we'll get them polished up and prep for paint and then paint them. All right, later.